And I just want to say to the men of this country, just shut up and step up. Do the right thing for a change. She is the Democratic senator from Hawaii. She told men to shut up and step up. I don't really know what that means. It's like the first part is men need to shut up. Okay, that means that men can't talk about sexual assault, which is a ridiculous and stupid thing. Seems like a very contradictory uh, demand for men. She was very emphatic, but uh, did that help her get her point across? I don't think so. She made for a good gift. Just shut up and step up. Just shut up and step up. Stand up. Uh, she also actually said that they should do the right thing for a change. So I can only talk about white male Christian things. Yikes. Only men commit sexual assault against women. Except for maybe Asia Argento. <laughs> Guess who's perpetuating all of these kinds of ac actions? It's the men in this country. When it comes to victims coming forward with sexual assault, that we need to believe women and condemn men. You know, men need to be just as much a part of the discussion as well. The White House is victimizing this person. The White House has actually said, you, Christine needs to be heard. I really would want to see what she has to say. And Republicans have said, also said, Christine needs to be heard, and they've allotted this time saying, oh, we're going to make a hearing, reopen the hearings on Monday, specifically so that she can be heard. She says that's fishy. I think we all know when something is unfair, when something smells. I wonder where that fish has gone. And we all know this. Let's face it, this is so patently unfair. What really smells like a rat is Democrat Senator Dianne Feinstein sitting on this story for six to eight weeks and then leaking it like the week before uh, Brett Kavanaugh was going to be uh, nominated or presumably uh, appointed to the Supreme Court. I know she did not want to go public. That's why okay. I didn't make the letter public. Senator Kristen Gillibrand said that forcing Ford into a sham hearing would be silencing her. I don't think she should be bullied into this scenario. They don't want her to testify, probably because these stories don't automatically line up. I think people are nervous that if she actually testifies, it's going to be, you know, a story that's got some holes in it. It's a sham hearing, and I, I don't think she should participate in it. How is allowing her to give her testimony and speak her piece about what happened to her silencing her? Democrats have hindered Ford's ability to be a sympathetic victim. You make that sound nicer when you cut it, and so I don't sound like an ass. I think it's really important that we are not reverse sexist and then all automatically condemn men and believe women just for the sake that they're women. By prolonging the amount of time that they take to respond um, to the Senate Judiciary Committee on whether or not they're going to appear to repeat these allegations and to elaborate on it, they're kind of running out the clock and running out the patience of people in the Me Too movement.